Tikilei la washtelo chachata ma washte ne fe chuza balo. Let me et hashuka lose a much of now. Let your wazia duck your elwati. Eoslaha. Ash let your una let your wogla keep the loach of da anachum tunga bo. Don't worry, I'll be speaking in English. <laughs> I uh, just want to ask you a few questions. This is a Lakota introduction. My name is Ruben Fast Horse, translated to uh, His Horse is Fast in Lakota. And I go to school and live on the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation. I attend City Bull College. And I will be graduating this December with a general studies into the Lakota language. And so my goal and uh, the goal end is to become a Lakota high school teacher on the reservation or the surrounding Sioux Res Lakota Sioux Reservations. I do want to ask you one question, though. How many of you out there are part Native American or American Indian that you know of? I see a couple of hands. Believe it or not, if I took 10 Americans from any walk of life, you'd find out that six out of 10, six out of 10 Americans have Native American ancestry. Not all African Americans can say they're totally African American. They're Cherokee, Choctaw, Chickasaw Creek, and Seminole in their family trees. And so we are a mixed culture of people to this very day. How many of you out there, just by a show of hands, consume Native products, Native American products. Not too many. So the rest of you don't like corn, beans, squash, potatoes, tomatoes, blueberries, wild rice, maple syrup. What are you guys eating? McDonald's every day? 80% of the world's food comes from North and South America. The two prized commodities in the world are corn and chocolate. And we consume chocolate as Americans every year annually with about five pounds of chocolate. And so this is kind of, this is a kind of the way we, um, we do learn about ourselves and the contributions and what we do. How many of you out there speak Native American? How many of you out there speak Native American? Not too many people will raise their hands and I understand that. But every time you use a word like Massachusetts, Connecticut, Delaware, Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, Iowa, Wisconsin, North and South Dakota, Brandsis, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Utah, Nevada, you're finding out that you're utilizing the Native American word. Believe it or not, over 27 states have Native American names. They've tried to make a New England, a New Germany, a New France, a New Berlin, but they ran out of words simply. So when we look at these words like North and South Dakota or Dakota, Dakota refers to what we call ourselves as allies, allies, friends. If we go to Minnesota, Minishota turns back into a, a Lakota word, a Sioux word. Mini meaning water, Shota is smoky, more than 15,000 lakes in Minnesota. Uh, the steam fog must arise, especially towards the autumn of the year or spring of the year. If we look at places like uh, Wisconsin, it goes back to Mishkansin, which is a beautiful land. Uh, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, a beautiful land by the lake that's kind of debatable. I used to live there. And Chicago, it goes back to Zagog or Zagago, which is the Miami Indian word for smelly place, because Chicago was a swampland of wild turnips and onions. And so you see all these Native American terms and words are in your parks, lakes, uh, um, places of business, uh, streets. Um, children's names, everywhere else we think. So there are approximately 2,200 words in the American English language that are Native American pertaining to certain various tribes. There are 700,000 English words that make up the English language. And every 14 days an indigenous language dies. And so we're doing everything we can in our, in our part of the world to preserve our own culture and our own language. And so this kind of gives you an idea that you are more part of this than, than you weren't before because six out of 10 Americans have Native American ancestry. You might be one of them. You do consume Native American products every day. Corn and chocolate are just two of them. And yes, you speak a pan-Native language called American English. You're more Native American now than you were just a few moments ago. And so this is the way to see ourselves as Native American people, whether you live in Florida or in North Dakota. We all interact in some kind of way.